considering you already talked about GPUs not being directly comparable anymore because of the advantage of DLSS related tech, would that make NVIDIA GPUs an attractive choice for console makers? What would NVIDIA have to offer to become the preferred choice? And would NVIDIA even be interested in that? Can AMD even afford to lose the console market? So this kind of sort of goes back to what we were discussing earlier. And um, hmm, it's an interesting question. I think uh, to begin with, they've got to be able to strike a deal that's equitable to the console makers in the first place, which was the whole issue going back to the OG Xbox. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the RSX as well with well, um, PlayStation 3. They, 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 NVIDIA held the keys there, right? Like Because that was yeah, the Toshiba cases. graphics card ended up failing on that side uh, mm. or that they were developing for PS3 and they needed an emergency solution. And NVIDIA yeah, was there. So. Tellingly, they never went back, either of them, no. Microsoft. <laughs> but we are seeing a situation now with uh, Nintendo where seemingly they are going back and an equitable deal has been made. So I think that's the first criteria of an NVIDIA console, right? Which is that the corporate bean crunching works out for both parties. Uh, because famously, you know, as I said, they never went back. So it's only and Microsoft never went back. Um, hmm. Where do you want to go with this one, John, beyond the, the money side of this situation? I mean, I think it would, uh, the last part of the question where he says, can they afford, uh, I think it would be a disaster for AMD to lose these contracts. But, and as a result, if there was threat of this, I feel like it might, I could see them, let's say Microsoft switched to NVIDIA. They already have Nintendo. I could see them working, Sony coming in, working with these guys to really try to like, I don't know, push them to the next level somehow. I, don't, I it, it would be interesting to see what's possible there, but I feel like they would do everything they could to retain that relationship then if this were to happen, you know, because it does feel like it's been easy to excuse some of AMD's choices in the PC space, given their focus on working with these two major console manufacturers. And they're right. not really, they've never, they haven't been competing with NVIDIA at the same level for years now, I would say. Oh man, I'm going to get my edge features yeah. for sure. I mean, raster performance, they're doing really yeah, well. Yeah, but raster so. performance is, it's last gen. It's kind of, no. Well, <laughs> if we is. go back to the question, what would make NVIDIA GPUs an attractive choice for console makers? First of all, it's actually, as I said, making the deal. But secondly, if we're looking at Microsoft specifically, the closer alignment they have with PC in terms of features, in terms of the forward-looking stuff, in terms of access to the features that NVIDIA has made and will be continuing to make over the years, that's actually uh, of massive benefit to Microsoft. Yeah, right. Absolutely. That's yeah, all the software R and D I actually think yep. ties more into Microsoft's platform than it does Sony. Yeah, uh, who's always been a hardware company, and Microsoft's a software company. So, yeah. Mm. Anything more to add to that? Alex? AI. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. I, I would. I think they could. The interesting thing is that they could offer the idea of it being a premium experience that you see also on PC. And I think NVIDIA is the key differentiator these days in the PC marketplace. Like when people talk about, I think really do when people talk about like, oh, you can play that on PC with like better graphics. They're talking about stuff like DLSS and ray tracing. They aren't talking about, you know, just like better raster performance. Slightly I don't think higher that resolution is, shadow maps. Yeah, slightly higher resolution shadow maps and stuff. Like that. that is maybe what it was in like 2011, or to 2015 or something like that. But I think nowadays it's quite different. So I think they could they could say like, this is the premium Xbox and they could offer that. And on the Nintendo Switch side, the, the offering there is like Nvidia is almost invisible there. Yeah. Um, uh, which is very interesting, actually. It's not at all part of the branding. Yeah, yeah. And, and not even in terms of features for the Switch One because it's, it's yeah, just right. a standard Tegra X1. There's nothing special going on there. Yeah, Switch mm -hmm. 2, if it is use, utilizing DLSS or ray tracing in some way, obviously it will be a touch more visible, but they're still not going to be marketing it beyond announcing a strategic relationship, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, the concept that uh, Microsoft in particular aligns with, with what's happening in the PC space would be broadly more beneficial to them, I think. 
Yeah, um, that makes yeah, sense. I can't really see, you know, in terms of AMD affording to lose, can they, AMD afford to lose the console market? Well, they, they could strike a better deal, uh, which is historically how they got those contracts right, in the right. first place, right? And right. secondly, you know, we shouldn't expect them to to stay still. They've, they've, they realize there's a mountain to climb in terms of matching uh, the feature set that it's not just NVIDIA, it's Intel doing it as well. You know, they've got threats from all sides from that perspective. Can they afford to lose the console market? Well, they're doing great at the moment in the PC space, in the server space. So they yeah. probably could afford to lose it, right? But they probably wouldn't want to. Uh, 